Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by today. Today we are going to make another DIY which is the most requested DIY that I need to do which is the gnomes. Today we are going to make a gnome which is... I never tried this before but I will try and make it. It's a requested one but it is going to be a fairy gnome. So anyway, before I get started, I just want to give a shout out to one of the best realtor. It should be down here displayed in this section. If it's not going to be in the bottom, it should be at the top right there. So check her out if you're looking to buy a house or you're trying to sell your house contact her and she is super 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 awesome if you're new to my channel i am shesha sj i love to craft anything from the dollar tree walmart goodwill and anything that can be recycled i also love jewelries which is this bracelet that i have which is this one super cute it's it is jc crew it's on my Poshmark closet if you want them. This one is not JC Crew. This is just a fashion type. But if you want this one, go check them out at the description down below. It should be on my link down there if you want to check it out. But anyway, let's get started into our DIY of today. Let's go. As you can see, you you must have seen this one on my little basket. I have this glitter one. This is only optional. I think the fairy needs some sparkles, so I grabbed this one. This is my one of my stash before. I don't know where I get this, either at the Dollar Tree, but you can get one like this, I think, at Walmart. All right, so that could be one. And these one are butterflies. I got this from the Dollar Tree. One of my friends gave this to me, so I love butterflies. Yes, these mini glass container, you can find this at the Dollar Tree. A faux fur and recycled fabric of your choice. I choose this kind and this kind, so we'll see how this one works and felt flowers i have also this one from my previous stash and i don't know where i get this one i just don't know oh you know what i think it's from wish so i got that from wish somehow like beads or somehow bling bling you know i don't know if we're going to use that as an optional as well and sequence or whatever bling bling again this is uh, this is optional and i have this from amazon so i am not sponsored by amazon just to i just want to make clear about that and this is a what's this called it's a 122 pieces round wood art design and there's like five sizes inside so yep all right there you go and a scissors and make sure you get your glue gun prepared so let's get started all right so first what we are going to grab for our first one is going to be the mini glass container and look how tiny that is super super tiny all right so let's work on this one okay okay once you have this one out in the bag you are going to grab your fabric and this is the fabric that I want, so you can pick any fabric of your choice. And all you have to do is you just have to tie it. All right, so it should be on the way top. I like to tie it like on the way, way top of the jar. And you just twist it around and until you reach where there is no fluffiness on the side. So just work and play on it, just like what I did right now. Okay, so once you reach that point is you are going to grab your yarn. I forgot to mention that you are going to need a yarn or any twine of your choice, but I like to use a yarn and you just have to tie it on the top just like so, like a regular knot. I like to double knot it to make it more secure. 
Okay. Thank you guys for the request of this. It challenges me a lot. Super, super challenged. Okay. And next is you are going to cut the top of this fabric. Okay. All right, so once it is cut, it should look like this. You can trim it if you want, but I just wanna leave it like that because it'll be covered anyways. And you are going to grab your felt. So what we are going to use is you are going to measure this size with this kind of mini jar or mini glass that you have. Usually the wraparound on that is should be four inches, okay? So you are just going to cut it for a four inches. So one, two, three, four. So I don't need to cut it in there because it's already four. Next is you are going to make this in an angle where from this, like just leave a little bit right here, like half an inch and you start cutting like a triangle and leave it to a one inch on the top. Okay. And I will show you how I do this start at the way bottom like almost half an inch and just cut it like so all right just keep cutting and it doesn't need to be perfect okay and then you grab the other end and you just measure that on the other side and you just follow the line of this felt that you just cut and just keep cutting it until you finish to the way end all right so then you can put this one aside and I also forgot that you are going to need a pipe cleaner so grab a pipe cleaner and you start gluing this pipe cleaner on this end. It's not all the way in there, but a little bit, half an inch left in there. And if you don't want your scissors to be dull, you just, you can just like fold it like so, like that. Just fold it and start gluing them together. Okay, since it's done gluing, all you have to do is you are going to make or fold this felt down here and you just have to close them like so you don't have to close this top part down here just this just don't close it just start gluing it don't worry about the top because we're going to put something in there okay and I'm going to glue this like so and just put them all together like that and glue it all the way to the end all right there you go it is done and i know you might think what is wrong why is it super long right and you will see it later okay since it's done, we are going to work on our gnome's beard. All right, guys, when you trim your faux fur, you are going to make your something fur turn it like this, so, okay? And make sure when you cut it, you kind of like, you feel it. You can see your scissors showing through in there, if you can see it. I hope you can but you just have to make it feel like so like that and go deep like so and you can feel the the hair in there that going to separate it see as you can see once you did that there is a nice trim at the bottom as you can see super super pretty okay now next is you are going to trim it a little bit. You can see them on your glass. If it's too long, you can always trim it like, like so. Like just play around with it. 
on how long you want. And if you have a so much hair everywhere, you can always grab your lint roller, which is one of my favorite craft around when I craft. So I just play around like cutting a hair. Okay. Like that. And once you're done, you just have to shake it. Shake, shake, shake. And grab your lint roller and you can clean your mess. There you go. And after that, you are going to grab your gnome's body and just glue it like that. There you go. There is our gnomes beard. Super, super cute. All right. So next is we are going to grab our gnome's nose. And with this, I like to use the smallest one. Oh, what a coincidence. We have this tiniest one down here. So that's what I want to use for our gnome's nose. And you just have to glue it down here and of course you're going to play around as well with your gnome's hat all right just play around and just do it like so and you can glue them all together and yep i think i like it that way and i'm going to glue this so stay with me okay i like to put something make the hair separated in there so it's more like sticking on the fabric of the fur so i'm just going to separate this tiny little hair in there and try to pull it down like so and i'm going to tuck my nose in here like that and here we go My nose nose is rolling. All right, so it is tucked in in there, and it should be super super cute. All right, there you go, and you just have to clean it like so. Look how cute that is, guys. Super, super cute and long. Thank you. And then after that, you are going to grab your flower. Well, you kind of like the reason why I like that hat long because I like to twirl it around like so. So the gnome's hat has, because this is a gnome, fairy gnome. So I kind of like to play around with that hat, that's why I like it like that. And I'm going to grab that flower. So you can pick any flower of your choice. So guess what, this is my last one. I finally use everything of my flowers. And that makes me happy. And you just have to, that's why we leave that little circle down there. And you just put your flower down there and glue it. And there you go. So it's gonna look like that, okay? So I'm just gonna glue this like so. And ta-da! Look how cute that is. Isn't that super cute? And then next you are going to grab your butterfly. And I got mine the plastic kind. You can also find the fur butterfly the faux one which is you know you see them at the Dollar Tree they have tons in there but the one thing I have is I don't have any of those and I scrapbook a lot and that's what I have so this is what I have right now and I'm going to use this I like to use the bigger bigger butterfly one and I like this one as well because it's like 3D-ish, you know? Look how they look like. It's like a 3D. Okay, and I'm going to put this 
in the back of the gnome. So they're like fairy gnome. Okay. And if you reach the point of you like that part, you can now then glue it. See how cute that is on the back? Super, super cute. And you just have to pull it since you reach the point where you want that wings. And glue it like so, press it down. And do it to the other side. And put a glue on it. And press it down like so. All right. There you go. And then once you reach that, if you want to put something on the back, which I like, I like to put something in there. Not too heavy, but it's going to be pretty one. So I'm going to use this kind of sequence, or I don't know what this is, but it's where you can use a somehow like jewelry. There's no holes in it. So you can make a jewelry. So I'm gonna use it this way. And put them right there on the back for additional color. Super blingy. Look at that. How cute is that? Okay. Now you are going to grab your sparkly foam. It is a foam sheet. I can't remember where I get this one either in Walmart or Dollar Tree. And what I like is the shape of a heart to form as their feet. And you just cut form like a heart like so. And there you go. And you just have to glue it like that. And I like to start gluing at the bottom. So when I put them down, it should be right there. All right. And there is our fairy gnome. Super cute. Look how cute that is, guys. Isn't it cute? Okay, so these are the ones that I finished. I finished a pink one. Super cute. This other pink one. Super, super cute. And this one. And this one. I like this one when you have something you can just like play on it like so. And just do it like that. And I think that's it. Thank you guys for staying with me. You guys are awesome. And see you soon next time. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below on my description or in the comments bar. So leave a message and I would love to keep in touch with you guys. And thank you so much for watching Shasha SJ. You guys are awesome. And thank you. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.